Uncle Nabob's. Woo! Well, I got it out, didn't I? <laughs> you mean start over? <laughs> Uncle Nabob's grandson, Billy Joe Bob, he said I could get down here in two hours on an airplane. And I said, no, thank you. If God wanted me to fly, he'd give me a lot more feathers and a lot less fat. <laughs> Uncle Nabob said he'd bring me down here. So he went out and got his old packer down off in the blocks. Y'all know what a packer is? <laughs> and then he put gasoline in it and he cleaned it up and he, he got the mice and the setting hens out of it and everything. And then him... And his wife, Aunt Lou Vern, and me, we packed up and took off. Uncle Nabob, now he said it'd take a day to get down here. It took us nearly three days, and it was on account of them restrooms. <laughs> yeah, see, Uncle Nabob, he wouldn't stop at their place to put a gasoline in the packard unless there was a big sign that said, Clean Restrooms. So every time we stopped, it'd taken three or four hours for me and Aunt Lou Vern to get them restrooms cleaned up. <laughs> we finally got down here, though, and I, I was down there. I was standing down there looking at all that pretty white sand y'all got spread out down there and all that water. And I was thinking, oh, how romantical is this? And right here at Valentine's Day, too, maybe I could find me a feller while I was here. Well, while I was thinking, up walked two fine-looking young specimens. Mm -hmm. They walked right up there, and they stopped, and they looked at me, and I looked at them. Yeah, you know, you don't have to be taking a trip to look at the train. <laughs> Anyhow, I looked, and they looked, and I smiled. And they laughed out loud. <laughs> One of them said, you know, I believe that's the ugliest woman I ever did see. <laughs> Other one said, well, yeah, she is kind of ugly, but, you know, maybe she's a pretty good old girl. After all, beauty's only skin deep. First one said, well, maybe we ought to skin her. <laughs> Back home in Grinder Switch, I ain't the only old maid up there. Why, well, I got a cousin named Sally Ann, and she's nearly two or three years older than me. I think she must be probably 39 by now. And Sally Ann's still looking for a husband. She's all the time dieting and exercising. Last month, she went to the city and had her face lifted again. <laughs> Doctor said she can't do that no more, though. No, nah, he said he's done... She done had her face lifted so many times now, if she used to sneeze, she'd blow her hat clean off. <laughs> and she has dieted and exercised so much till Sally Ann looks like her bones is about to kick her cover off. <laughs> yeah, we got another old maid up there, Miss Tilly. Now, Miss Tilly is old. How yeah. old is she? Well, she was old when Uncle Nabob was toothless. The first time, I mean. <laughs> but the other day, I mean, she's still looking for a feller. Last week, she called the fire department. She said, send the fire truck, send the fire truck. And the operator said, what's the matter, Miss Tilly? She said, there's a man trying to get in my upstairs window. Operator says, Miss Tilly, you don't need the fire department. You need the police department. She says, no, I need the fire department. We need that truck because his ladder ain't long enough. <laughs> You know, I, I was thinking about uh, asking Junior Sample about, about helping me find a feller. Is Junior here? Where'd Junior go? Come here, Junior. Oh. Woo! Well, that was an entrance, wasn't it? <laughs> I made it, though. All righty. Well, when I call, they come running, huh? <laughs> Junior, I'm looking for a feller while I'm down here, and I thought I'd go to church with you Sunday and see if I could find one. Has anything exciting been going on at your church? Yeah, there was. What? Last, last <laughs> Sunday, they was just preaching away, and the devil jumped right out in the middle of the front of the preacher. No. Yeah. 
Everybody left except Brother Paul. He was sitting there just calm and cool and collective. The devil got up in his face. Are you afraid of me? He says, nope. He says, why? He said, I've been married to your sister for 20 years. <laughs> Come on there, Junior.